You are watching a special presentation from Tinkle Group Gaming. Hello guys, welcome here to the Jello Cup series. This is race number 23 here today from the Homestead Miami Speedway, the second leg of our double header weekend. Today we present to you the Ford Eco Boost 400. I'm Brian here in the booth with you. Starting from the pole will be the 20th place finisher from yesterday. Zach Fitzwater to his outside will be the number 98 of Parker Jones Jr. As we get going, of course, this is the last leg of the double header. Charles Sanford, for those who didn't watch yesterday, sorry I gotta spoil it, he was yesterday's winner. Could he be the first and only driver to do a sweep in a double header? Or will one of these other guys step up and reach victory lane? We're going to find out in a moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. When we come back, the green flag in just a moment. Here we go, ready for the second leg of the double header in Homestead. Pace cars off. The GOAT, Zach Fitzwater. Parker Jones Jr. They'll lead us to the restart zone. And the second leg of the double header is underway. Fitzwater will lead the opening lap. Of course, Fitzwater no stranger to winning at least one leg of each double header. And then we've done, I believe he's done it at Phoenix before, he's done it at Pocono before. Now he hopes to add Homestead to that list. Sanchez back there in second. Him winning has no bearing on the playoff picture. Same thing with that 88. Well, actually, 88, if he wins, he does. singling out here goes the 88 looking for second Bruto Crown Jr. now Trevor Collins looking for second in the 21 
Oaks to fourth. He'll now chase down the top three. Here goes the 21. Trevor Collins, this is for second. And he's going to take second away. Fitzwater just got into the top 30 after Indianapolis. He's looking to pad that top 30 position for himself. Here comes the 9. Up to third, now looking for second from that bottom lane. Twenty-one with a run through one and two. Looking for the lead now. And the twenty-one, Trevor Collins to the lead. Here at Homestead. again on Sunday will be yeah, Sunday afternoon will be at Milwaukee then Wednesday night at San Joltis and then Saturday night under the lights at Darlington that'll wrap up the regular season before we go to the playoffs and of course the first round at Rockingham then we'll go to Road America then Bristol for the night race those are the races coming up on the circuit and we can't wait to bring them to you here Fitzwater's dropping back a little drops back to fifth Six of Bradley Ream starting to come into the picture. Same with the 65 of Dave James. So close to the bumper. Trevor Collins still leads. He's looking for his first win of the season. Same for Bradley Ream and Dave James. They want to win for the first time this season. If Dave James wins, it would be the first win for that 65 car since the Season 4 Championship. When Patrick Smith took that car 
to victory lane and of course won the title. There's no doubt he's thinking about that here right now. And again, a long way to go. See these top four nose to tail. Parker Jones Jr. trying to save what little playoff hopes he has left. Of course, we'll get a better picture of it going into Milwaukee as Bradley Ream will go to the lead. Caution's out. First caution of the doubleheader weekend, and it's the point leader, Michael Hoax, involved. Not the way he wanted to end the doubleheader weekend, and let's go see what happened. You know, normally I'd say this is not a good look, but this really isn't a good look. These are the top two in the points at last check. Scott Upton, Michael Hoax, and it looks like Scott Upton drives it in way too deep. Had the 34 under him, and he sends the 19 up the track into that outside wall. Oh, that is not going to sit well with Michael Hoax, and seeing that these two are battling for that regular season title, that may leave a sour taste amongst both drivers. Could be a fun final three races. We'll take you back to the green in just a moment. Here we go, getting ready for the restart. Michael Hoax, the only car a lap down. And you see the damage. So we'll see if he holds up second and third. Of course, they did pit under the caution. Something to keep in mind. Bradley Ream did not. He will be the leader. Then you got Michael Hoax in second, Dave James in third. Kevin Howard 4th, Roberto Crown Jr. in 5th, we're back racing at Homestead. And you see the 19 holding everybody up, but Bradley Ream staying out, this is going to be a costly decision for him, especially if we don't get another caution. And here he comes to the pit lane. Again, a costly decision to stay out. Look at this. Roberto Crown Jr. forcing the issue. Three wide in the 65. In the 21 made contact. Dave James will settle into the race lead. This is his kind of racetrack. He loves these intermediates. And he is the leader right now. trying to chase him down. He's right there, but Dave James holding a perfect line in three and four that time. And that 65 has not been to victory lane since season number four. And that was back when this team was a Chevrolet team. So that is absolutely on their minds right now. Scott Upton looking for third. And again, this could be a really good day for Scott Upton. <laughs> Although it's going to be at the frustration, of, or thanks to the frustration of Michael Hoax. Of course, if you're just tuning into the premiere, Scott Upton, Michael Hoax, they've been battling for the points lead for a while now. Scott Upton and Michael Hoax get together to bring out the first caution. And let's just say this could be an interesting rivalry going into the final few races of the regular season. And 
And I'll tell you what, looking back, as you see Scott Upton battling for second, those Collig cars have really been showing their muscle the last few races here. Of course, Fitzwater doing very well, could have easily won the, the Brickyard race. Then Fitzwater taking pole in this, of course, granted via the uh, finishing 20th yesterday, but he led early today. He ran okay in the first race. This team is, and of course, Aaron Jeter finishing second at Homestead and running well yesterday, and then now being up front today. So this team is showing their strength after having a tough few first seasons. <clears throat> the 8 and the 88 are battling right now for the second spot. back there too. She, she did very well in race number one. And now looking double down in race number two. down that 65 alley Liara up to third nobody except Scott Upton in this top five has won a race this year Mitchell Collins now back there how's about Colin Cropley coming from the back to the front and now he's in the mix Bedford looking to get around Cropley back there for that 7th spot. Oh, we got a caution. 48 Austin Shaw with damage. Same with the 17 Tyler Anderson. I thought I heard cars smacking back there. Second caution of the day here on lap number 35. Well, let's go see what happened. Looks to me like Tyler Anderson's engine just blew up here. Austin Shaw nowhere to go except into the back of him and up into the wall he goes. Michael Collins, Mitchell Hodak. Looks like Michael Collins kind of just pinched him. There goes Sanford to that outside wall. Yesterday's winner. And that might have been what we heard. Tough break for Kyler Anderson. And then I think further ahead, we had another issue. Oh, I thought we did, but no, we didn't. Anyway, tough break for Kyler Anderson and others. We'll take you back to the green in just a moment. 
Austin Jaw, Kyler Anderson, their days come to an end. Unfortunate for them. Charles Sanford trying to stay on the lead lap here. It'll be Dave James, Ali Liara, Faith Cole, Scott Upton, Roberto Crown Jr. after the cyclist stops. Then you got Mitchell Collins, Jana Fogelman, Chad Bedford, Daniel Gittero, Colin Cropley. That is your top 10. We're back racing under a lap traffic moment here with the number 99. Top three, top four, get by, no problem. And unfortunately for Sanford, it's just gonna be limp it back. Eighty-eight looked, couldn't get there. Now it's gonna open the door for Mitchell Collins in the number twenty-two. Get a row pits. See those guys spread out back there and just trying to get around Charles Sanford. Collins about to battle for second. Now they're pretty spread out. And of course, thanks to the lapped car of Charles Sanford. Here comes the 38. Big run through three and four. Can she complete the pass? Big pull. No. Here comes the 22. Mitchell Collins. Slips, but it'll get another run. She's trying to think of what the best way would be to get around the 65. Here comes Mitchell Collins, one of the series veterans. Down on the bottom, he'll take second away. We got 10 to go here at Homestead. They're still battling for second. Roberto Crown now in this battle. Top five have not won a race yet this season. And now Roberto Crown looking for second. Well, nine laps of racing to go at Homestead. Just hanging back and wondering if he's just waiting for the right moment. Of course, Dave James only in his second full-time season. Mitchell's been here almost since the beginning. You 
gotta wonder if that 22 has some tricks up the sleeve. just got to be thinking here maybe what move can I make to get around the 65 here he goes he's got to run it's not gonna be enough to get the lead this lap but he'll have a run in one in the 65 I'll shut the door How much longer is he going to be able to hold him off? What a block there from the 65. That is going to anger Mitchell. As we come to the out of turn 4-4 four, four to go. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if Mitchell will not use the bumper the next time. I know this isn't a short track, but man, he is going to tempt that 22 to just use the bumper and move him. Here we go, another charge for the 22. We'll come to three to go this time at the line, and we have the 99 dead ahead. Dave James Mitchell Collins, who's gonna get the 99 in front of him? Dave James gets cleared. So Mitchell Collins to the lead. And impacts the 99 gonna have none. And come with two to go. Roberto Crown is right there, trying to make a move himself. He's got the twenty. He's got the sixty-five behind. In the three and four. And the sixty-five is gonna pit. A heartbreaker for Dave James. We'll take the white flag and one lap of racing to go. Presented by Mitchell's Memes. That is just unfortunate. But Roberto Crown Jr. Mitchell Collins, they will battle it out to the finish as the 19 is dead ahead and could play a factor in this. 22 dives it in. It's not going to be enough, but the run through three and four, maybe? No. Roberto Crown Jr. will win at Homestead. Congratulations to the 88. He gets the job done. Gets his first win of the season. And caps off a wonderful doubleheader weekend for himself and his team. We want to thank you for watching. We're going to show you results and your standings. We'll be back on Sunday at the Milwaukee Mile. Till then, bye everyone.